Guys, I created this note-taking app. It took me four and a half hours. I have it set up to a backend. I've never coded in my life. I've never coded in my entire life. I saw this video and this website looks like the most beautiful note-taking app that I've ever seen. And rather than paying monthly for this note-taking app, I'm just gonna create it. Let's take a screenshot of this main page right here. Now let's go to the second page and we're gonna take another screenshot right here. I am now going to open Claude and I'm just gonna type this in right here and I'm going to simply upload those two screenshots. So the home page and then that second page, I am going to press enter. And now it's beginning to code it here on the side using the artifact. So we're gonna be able to see what it looks like right here. Okay, so this is kind of right, but it's not completely right. So we want it to look like this. We're gonna have my library. So these are supposed to be categories. So we're gonna go category one. And so then I'm gonna draw a vertical line right here. So we're gonna put category right here. This is category. And so these are all notes and they all have a category. So what we're gonna ver we're gonna do right here is we are just going to screenshot this and we're going to use this as an input. We're gonna paste in that image, make a make two vertical make two sections separated by a vertical invisible line. Left section is a narrow vertical list of categories. Right section is a three wide list of the notes that are tied to one of the categories. The color of category should match the color of the notes. Okay, we're getting a little bit closer. When I click on one of the notes, it should open to a full screen and let me edit it. And it should and it should let me type and should be capped at a standard height size. So the starting icons should be like maybe six lines tall by default, even if empty. Okay, so we can literally click on these and we can type stuff. This is Riley. I am typing stuff. Let's go. So let's say I want to be able to edit the name of the note and change the category. There should be a button above the notes on the right side, which is new note. That lets me create a new one and choose the category. I want to be able to change the category name and add new categories. Wow, now we can edit it. We can say content, what the? Whoa, okay. Well, we gotta fix that. One thing annoying to type. There should be a category above all of them that is all. 
to let me select all categories, any of the notes that get a date added to them in this format should be added to a mini calendar on the left side of the screen below the add cata button. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a new note and so say finish the video on Claude and so we can put that here and say I need to do the following. Um, I need to script, film, and edit, and I need this to be done by, um, let's say, 0716. And then I'm gonna put category two. I haven't changed the names of these categories, but I basically put in 716, so finish the video on Claude, and we can see here 716, finish the video on Claude. So one thing we'd want to change is make the events on the side do list boxes. I can check them off. What other changes do we want to be made? Make the notes on the right side vertically centered. Below the upcoming due dates, please have a section for tags. I want to be able to do hashtag, tag, and I want to be able to sort by certain tags. Here is our app so far. It's starting to come together really well. Um, hello there. And so this is our note. And so we can very easily see the tag. And we can click on, okay, we only want to look at love, we want to look at pizza, we want to look at content, pizza, love, all, right? We can see all of them. We can also include tags. So if we create a new note, hello, this is a new note that I, hello, this is a new note that I really want to share with everyone and I'm so excited that everyone loves it and I know I got to get away, get away, get away and it won't ever stop, but I but win every day, day. Yeah, you will never stop me. No, you will never pop me. We can just add a bunch of stuff right here. We can go hashtag busta rhyme and we can see it right here. So we can press Busta Rhyme, and we can exit out of Busta Rhyme. Okay, so this is a really long title, so the title needs to get cut off. Okay, so I'm happy with this so far. What I'm going to do is I want to bring this into Replit. And so I will include a link to this exact page right here, but you're just gonna come here, you're gonna hit fork, and you're gonna put a note taking app or whatever app you want to create and Replit, what Replit does, uh, my explanation of it, is it lets you take the code that you create on Claude and deploy it to an actual website and make it a live website that people can go to and you could in theory create a backend where the data is stored. So when I was using it, when I was creating it just now, it was only the front end. So every time we ran it, all the data left. You can create a backend. I haven't done it yet where the backend is dynamic. I've done it with a CSV file where you upload the data, just like a landing page where the data is very static. I'm going to attempt to, in this video, create a dynamic backend, and I don't even know what that really entails, but we got AI on our team. We can do whatever the fuck we want. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the app.tsx file. We just pasted our code in, and here's what it looks like. And it actually has a better format here, like we can press new note, um, this is a new one, and let's test. This is text. We are about to test the date. Let's put in the date. So we'll put in the date right here. Let's put in 07 uh, 20. So on July 20th, we'll a date, and then we're just going to put important um, send to John Taco, because why not? And so here we go. So we have, this is a new one right here. If we click on this, it crosses it off. Can we just deploy this? Um, and now it is fully deployed. So obviously there's no backend yet, but we can type in Riley's awesome. And so then we can just paste it below this and we can paste the code right here. 
and we can close this out and look at this it added Riley's awesome note on 719 because we put 719 in that right there it added hashtag code so we can press hashtag code it'll show us only that note and we can also check this off we can check off all of these notes when we finish them and the formatting is pretty clean right here I so I said okay now I'm ready to make the simplest back end so I can edit this so I can keep all my edits live let's see what it does now this is where I might be over my head okay so now we're adding the database and we're just literally gonna listen to Claude all right how good of an instruction follower can I be set up Firebase okay so all I need to do is go to the shell and I need to paste this in I didn't know what this even meant when I first started uh, about a week ago writing code on this using AI I wouldn't have known what that even meant um, and I still don't even know like this stuff right here no clue what that means and I haven't had to learn it yet so it doesn't necessarily matter until it's broken modify your library layout component to use firebase here's how you can update your component to save retrieve data from firestone make sure that all your event handlers like handle note change exchange use the new crud functions that interact with firestore jesus uh oh i think we're screwed guys i think i'm a, <laughs> i think i'm in over my head but we will fight we will be determined to code without knowing how to code okay so we got to open up a new file Right, so we're gonna open up a new file and we're gonna name it, open up a new file and we're gonna name it this right here, SRC. Shouldn't that be in Firebase? Okay, yeah, there it is. Um, and we are going to open up a new base. Uh, so, oh, fuck. Um, Firebase and we're gonna put this code into it right here. So let's go ahead and go back here, boom. Um, and Firebase uh, React library, what's the code here? The code here is update your source.app file. Okay, that's easy enough. How long is this? This is a long code, good, that looks good. I'm gonna update this right here. Hopefully we don't get any errors, we probably will. So that's just part of the game here. Let's just stop running the code. Um, source.app, uh, create a .env file in your project root, okay. Isn't that the same as a secrets file? Yeah. Um, we gotta use ChatGPT for the low-level questions. Okay, real-time storage, okay. Um, get started, create a project, uh, note-taking app. Oh God, all right, it's gonna want my money. It's okay. Just create the project, please. Give me full um, instructions on Firebase. What do I need to do in full to get all the info I need as well as getting it set up perfectly. All right, I'm gonna have to focus up and just do this dual monitored. Guys, I created this note-taking app. Took me four and a half hours. I have it set up to a backend. I've never coded in my life. I've never coded in my entire life. I didn't even know what a backend was. This is literally all of my notes are stored on Google Firebase. I found out about Firebase today. I went through literally hours of talking to Claude. I, I have two Claude accounts now, and I used up all my credits, moved to the other Claude account, used up all my credits, now I'm on the console, and I did another hour here, and I've literally created this note-taking app. This is my code. This is the most recent deployment, right here. And so I can add a new note. And so we're adding a new note here and we can choose which category and I can put ideas. Check this out. Video about creating backend database Claude. Check this out. Let me show you what else I added. So I added this uh, upcoming due dates and tag section. We can change the category, but we can also just add a quick date. So let's say this is due on uh, July uh, 
27th, right? And we hit save right here. Look at this video about creating backend database. And so obviously we need to fix this and make the make sure these are ordered properly. That's not difficult. Um, and so I will make sure that happens, but we can cross things off. And I have it, one of the next things I wanna do is where if it is in a previous date, so if the date is before today, then it will just disappear off this list. Um, but we can also add um, video about creating Claude. Um, we could add a coding is awesome tag. We could save this and you see here, now we have coding is awesome down here in tags. I can press tags. I can press motion capture, learning, AI tools, fun. Um, and if we were to go to all categories and we unclick fun, add hashtag fun to this one. And so we can press fun and it shows all of the ones with hashtag fun. And again, this is four hours of work. Uh, the hardest part was the back end, but this is insane. I mean, that I can actually get to this point. And so now I feel like right now you've got to add like some sort of payment processor if you wanted to charge for it and then allow other people to sign in. I'm sure that is a difficult process and I'm sure that it is a complex thing to do right. I'm sure that if I used AI, I could hack it together, but I'm sure that's suboptimal. Obviously, if I was releasing a tool, I would want to get a developer to come in. But the fact that I could in four hours, right? A lot of people spend four hours just... Uh, coming up with ideas and drawing it out on a whiteboard when you could spend four hours just making a full-on mock-up and I could send this to, to friends that I trust and they could go in and edit it and, and come up with things that they would want to change so that by the time you go to the developer you already know like all of the features that you want to add because you can just test it out by asking it and then they can basically refine the code at the end I've never coded in my fucking life I added these uh, this delete sign so you can actually delete notes and I also added the ability to add a note directly into one of them. So this is another feature that I added. So you can add a note. I don't know where they go. I can't figure out what order they're in. And so I need to add like a date tag and add, include that in the database. But like right now I'm just trying to build the shell and like I can do some more of the refining stuff tomorrow. 